Welcome to my introduction to wave optics. We are used to describing light in many different ways. From a very general perspective, light is just a kind of radiation. Radiance is the flux of radiation leaving a surface, for example, the sun. And irradiance is the flux of radiation entering, for example, the surface of the solar cells. In this static description, light is essentially a field of intensity. When we use light, we usually collimate it to a bundle of rays. Such a beam of white light can, for example, illuminate an image on a micro LCD screen. Then, a projection objective expands the beam and projects the image to a large canvas. This kind of description is called geometrical optics. It adds two light propagation angles to our list of properties. Geometrical optics works perfectly for most daily life applications. However, look at this butterfly. Its wings are actually not colored blue, but nanostructured. That's exactly the point where wave optics enters. Wave optics allows us to describe not only the colors of the butterfly, but also spectrometers, waveguides, lasers, photonic crystals or holograms. Instead of intensity, we use field amplitudes and phases for our description. Light is an electromagnetic wave and phase is the key parameter. This perspective is in fact a very fundamental one. However, it is not superior to any other description. For most daily life applications, wave optics is much too complicated. So far, I haven't mentioned another important parameter, which is the wavelength. The wavelength, or the color of light, is important for all kinds of descriptions. But only in wave optics, it fits into the theory naturally. We will look at that later.